Sometimes we gain possession and we forget the giver. Sometimes when God marries you, puts you on the throne, you forget that you are existing because of him. He gives you a job. You, you forget that you are existing. The reason why you, are, why you can sit on that job, the reason why you have hand to press that laptop is because his breath is still inside you. I lie. Are you hearing me, somebody? It's because his life is still inside you. Sometimes we get possession and we forget the giver. We just want, oh, you focus on your possessions. It happens. I'm trying to give you wisdom here. Separate yourself from your possessions. Separate yourself from your acquisition. Let nothing temper with your relationship with God. Let nothing temper with your fellowship. May God not cut you off this season. I came with one word for you. Value the relationship with God. In your everyday work, value the relationship. In your office, wherever you find yourself, value the relationship. Because the days are coming when our faith will be tested. When our possessions will be tested. <laughs> the priority you place on God is the priority we place on you. He told Eli, he said, those who honor me, I will honor. And those who dishonor me, they I will dishonor. The Lord kept on emphasizing to me that our commitment to him is too small. Our commitment to God is too shallow. I mean relationship. That God you serve like network. Like the city power now. You know city power. You know what's going on in city power. Yeah? Nobody trusts city power again. They are not doing like this. If that is how your relationship is with God, that is how you will appear in your life. That is how you will appear in your situation. Do you only value God when you come to church on Sunday? Then he will be your God of Sunday. Share that love with others. As God is having compassion on you, as far as you are wearing a suit of weakness, know that the next person sitting next to you is also wearing a suit of weakness. The time you start pointing finger at that person, look at you, why are you behaving like you... You are increasing your own. You, you, you are hiding your own and pointing to someone else. That's why God said, remove the speck, the, the, the log in your eyes before you remove the speck in other people. That is the problem we have in the world now. Everybody hates one another. We are looking for forth from one another. This one is the problem. This one, this one is the Everybody counting forth. Nothing is standing again. Homes does not stand again. Relationship don't stand again because we are trying to point other people's weakness. Meanwhile, your own weakness is the biggest. Let your relationship with God be like that. Let everything go, but let the relationship remain. Hear this secret. When you help other people's weakness, God will help your weakness. 